fellow gym hunters. Welcome to another episode of Vibe and Time over here at Coinverse, guys. You know what to do before we get started. Make sure you like the video. Also, comment down below after the video if you have any questions or comments. And then subscribe to the channel. Hit that little notification bell. That way you stay up to date to the latest content that we put out over here at Coinverse. All right, guys. We've been jumping into the NFT topic very heavy in the last uh, couple of episodes. Talking about some of the free NFTs that have been coming out. And how you guys should really try to get on the whitelist for a lot of these things. Because the fact that we're getting them for free, we know that the support is there at zero. Uh, and that makes it all the more uh viable in my opinion right because if it's if you get it from zero and it goes back to zero hey we only got up from there to go right um but i did want to talk about this other type of nft that was uh potentially coming out it's been a lot of talks with it in mainstream media uh, i didn't want to jump into the topic too early because i wanted to see how it played out a little bit uh, and if anybody was going to jump on it so without further ado we're going to go ahead and get this thing started here i'm going to ahead and share my screen um and, and this is actually gonna be about Soulbound, guys. And if you guys don't know what Soulbound is, we're gonna go through this thread that I found here. Uh, so people contribute a lot in Web3 with no public recognition. Soulbound reputation tokens, SBTs, have the power to change this. Today, we're excited to release one of the first dynamic SBTs ever to give people the recognition they deserve. Read on. We created the largest Q&A knowledge base for Web3 where you can ask any question on anything in Web3 and guarantee an answer by the expert. Come check us out at curious.xyz. So I just wanted to show you type of uh, this project and we could we'll go back and read a little bit more about this. Um, but these are SBTs. And what is the SBT? It's a soulbound token. And this is a token, guys, that really can be transferred one way, but can't be transferred back. And Vitalik's uh, being one of the guys that's been on record talking about this. I just want to jump right over into this thing. Um, and you see right here, Soulbound NFTs, Vitalik inspired from the world of Warcraft. So if you guys are gamers and you know that, uh, then you know what a, a non-transferable skin is, is where you could actually play with a skin, but you wouldn't be able to transfer it to another player because that skin is assigned to your profile. And that's pretty much what these Soulbound NFTs are. Uh, are. So let's just jump into it real quick. Ethereum co-founder Vitalik uh, Buterin recently published a blog wherein he talked about in making NFTs Soulbound, just like in the game of World of Warcraft, a massively multiplayer online role-playing game Buterin also mentioned a few drawback of NFTs which come with their transferability and commercial vi uh, viability in the world of Warcraft a soulbound item once picked up cannot be transferred or sold to another player noted Buterin as per Buterin the NFTs have a social signal uh signaling value and people who own them cannot flaunt them in their social circles on the other hand Buterin also noted Twitter's integration of NFTs and profile people so basically what this is this is one of those uh uh, NFTs that you would actually get in my opinion this would be something where like it would be your medical records like if so if you were going to a new doctor for the first time and they needed your med medical records you could be airdropped this soul bound NFT that gives away all your information but at the same time it gives away none of your information because you don't have to share it with anybody it's not transferable so you actually have this NFT where you can prove that this is you these are your medical records but at the same time they cannot be transferred to the doctor uh, and then they wouldn't be able to transfer it to anybody else. So that's one of the things that I picked up on Soulbound NFTs. Uh, so Butcher spoke highly of uh, pop, uh, Pope, uh, excuse me, proof of uh, attendance protocol. So this is one of those protocols that when you're there, you're rewarded for being there. And how do they find out? They were actually able to look at these NFTs and see who's actually being active with the NFT. So while transferable NFTs have their place and can be really valuable on their own for supporting artists and charities, there's also a large unexplored design space of what non-transferable NFTs could become. So this could be your driver's license. It could be your medical records. It could be your dental records. This could be your driving record. This could be your diploma. This could be a lot of different things, guys. I think that um, a lot of the times when we talk about these soulbound NFTs, I think that the conversation gets so lost because everybody's trying to figure out what will be the nature of it and how would it 2x and how would it 3x and what type of digital art would you be receiving? Guys, this is your personal information. This is the things that you could take from place to place this could be your resume online so when i think about these things i think they're really cool the fact that they're non-transferable so let's just jump right into a quick explanation what are soulbound tokens the credibility of the founders of soulbound alongside the vision of employing them as tool in the web3 landscape reflects a lot of their functionality what is a soulbound nft this is probably the most important question one looks in a discussion about the latest variants of NFTs. First of all, it's important to note that the Soulbound is a project on paper at the time of writing the detailed white paper by co-founders of Soulbound NFT, Vitalik Buterin and others, at, uh, points out a clear description 
of the uh, cat the new category of NFTs. So Soulbound is a new non-transferable public verifiable digital token which can serve as a representative of social status on an individual of web3 so without going further into this article i don't want to bore you guys out i just want to jump right into this and what are we talking about here public verifiable digital token so guys again this is replacing some of the actual cards the thing that we hold in our wallet this thing can really talk about who you are where what type of social circles you're in things that you've accomplished, i.e. a resume, things of that nature. I think it's really cool to see Vitalik team up and do something like this. Um, uh, Cause a lot of people have been wondering, how are we gonna be using blockchain? How are we gonna really implement this technology and, and really put this stuff out there for people to use on a day-to-day -day basis? I think Soulbound NFTs are a very good example of how, uh, how we could come out with an NFT that could be something that we use in the everyday setting, guys. Imagine you go into a store or being pulled over by a cop or you just need an, your form of identification having it airdrop from you by a blockchain authenticating that that trail of verification that was sent to you was actually you i think that's the next level of what we're talking about of the common practices that we could use for nfts that's one of the things that really gets me excited i think it gets vitalik excited too because like i said he's one of the founders and one of the builders on this i did want to jump back in back over here to this article uh, with the curious xyz we're gonna dive a little bit more into them uh in one of the coming episodes but i did just want to jump right into the topic today of the soulbound nfts and they were the one of the first projects that popped up so normally in web 2 world the reputation is just uh trapped on the platform and no one else would ever know about it in web 3 world though we have the powerful non-transferable nfts or nfts or soulbound tokens so we utilize the concept that uh launched one of our platform where everyone who made contributions to our platform to build knowledge uh knowledge base and to help others can showcase their achievements and reputation as an on-chain credential so guys so this is going to be about like for those people who always talk about educating the space and, and and bringing education to the space this gives you that credibility that you need this is almost like a doctrine or a a verified signature on your credentials so guys this is one of the things that i'm really getting excited about these soulbound nfts not just because of vitalik's involved but i think it's one of those things that really take the in real life documents and make them on chain i think that is the power of the blockchain i think that's the power of validating uh transactions and i think that's where we're going to see the most growth uh over the next two or three years right so guys make sure you do some studying up on the soulbound NFTs, some of the soulbound NFT projects. We're gonna look a little bit more into Curious XYZ. I don't want to talk about them today, but I really just want to stay focused on this the soulbound NFTs and and just understand that hey, look, this could be the next thing, especially when we talk about taking our identities digital. I don't know another way to do it than other otherwise than to have a concept like this. Like nobody would be able to carry their their medical information in their public wallet. Like that would be just it wouldn't be protected at all. So I think that in an event where you're actually somewhere and then you get airdrop that information and then you can prove it on chain, I think it's a beautiful thing. So I get excited when I talk about these soulbound NFTs. Uh, happy to see that Vitalik's also back in this notion and building on this as well. And I think that we'll have a more videos coming out in due time, but I did want to introduce you guys to Soulbound. Make sure you guys do some fucking, I'm do some freaking financial research on these things. Uh, make sure you look these things up. Uh, go ahead and find out what soulbound NFT would be for you and how you would use it in your day-to-day -day life. I think it's one of the cool things, like I said, that we could actually take on-chain information, bring it up to current times and make it digital. So again, guys, today's video was all about soulbound NFT. Make sure you go over to our Telegram or our Discord over at Coin, uh, Coin Cryptoverse. Make sure that uh, uh, you guys subscribe to our channels and then stay up to date with all our content, man. We try to put out the best content for you guys. I got some free NFTs that's gonna be coming out this week as well. So make sure you guys are here for that. Other than that, guys, make sure you hit like that, hit that like button, comment down below. And other than that, guys, till next time, vibing out.